What's cracking with you, YouTube? <clears throat> Cage TV back with another video. What the hell is going on, man? We got motherfuckers out here trying to do the crate challenge. We got motherfuckers out here doing TikTok videos. We got the government trying to force vaccine mandates on the country. There's a lot of silly shit going on. A lot of silly shit going on. But... Silly shit going on in Packer news. Former tight end for the Green Bay Packers, Jermichael Finley, speaks out. Shout out to the Pat McAfee show for uh, checking um, Undisputed for the bullshit that they, they talked about with Aaron Rodgers. You know. I swear to God, man, these narratives that the media keep trying to paint. You know, if they if they really watched the Pat McAfee show, they would have heard that Aaron Rodgers himself said he played bad. He said, I play bad, we play bad. He took the blame. And then you have uh Jermichael Finley coming out every time Aaron Rodgers have a bad game. All the old Green Bay Green Bay uh, former players want to come out and speak about <laughs> why Aaron plays so bad. Like, I don't understand it, man. There's plenty of fucking quarterbacks playing bad every Sunday, but you don't hear they former teammates coming out just trashing the dude. Damn, Jermichael Finley, are you, are you that bitter? Do you want to sit down and talk to Aaron Rodgers like Greg Jennings did? Thank God he ain't came out and said anything yet. But every time Aaron Rodgers do something where all eyes are on him with this narrative that they keep continuing to go on with, they don't see no other quarterbacks going through this but Aaron Rodgers. Same thing happened with Tom Brady mad at the organization. Really was mad at Belichick. This shit is just getting old, man. This shit is getting old. And Aaron is part of the blame for keeping the nonsense going on. You know what I'm saying? He's keep making comments and, and that's just going to be the nature of this year. That we're just gonna have to keep going through this as Packer fans, man. Putting up with this nonsense. Just like we gotta keep putting up with this vaccine bullshit and a Biden administration. But this ain't that type of channel. So I don't believe Aaron Rodgers is gonna respond to Jermichael Finley. They might ask him a question. I don't know. I didn't watch the press conferences today. I know they have one with Matt LaFleur, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to bring it up. Hey, uh, Aaron, uh, I don't know if you're aware of the comments that Jermichael Finley made earlier this week uh, saying that he didn't see that you played with that, that look in your eye, that confidence in your eye. And, you know, uh, what do you have to say about that? And we got to hear Aaron, you know, the beauty of the game and uh, this horse shit, man. This horse shit NFL theater that we got to keep looking at every fucking week. These guys, man, shit is annoying. It's annoying, man. It's annoying. You just, you just seen it coming. You just seen it coming once Aaron Rodgers had a bad game. The fucking slander, the smear campaign just got to pop right back up. Talk bad about him. Don't say nothing positive about him at all. When it comes to Aaron Rodgers in the media. You know, you have some people that stick up for him. Even Shannon Sharp. I'm, I'm just I'm tired of this man, Skip. Skip, I'm just tired of him. But then stop fucking talking about him. These narratives, man. These sports narratives just don't make no sense, man, at all. Just, just kill it. Like... 
just can't pay attention to none of the shit, man. Just shit, just it's ignorance, man. Ignorance at its finest. Now I'm not sitting up here trying to defend Aaron Rodgers. No, I'm not trying to do that. I mean, if he played bad football, yeah, go out there and criticize the man. You know what I'm saying? Talk about how bad he played. But then y'all keep going into this whole what happened in the off season and just, just we talk with the season is here now. Talk about the game. Talk about the game. Talk about the damn game. Talk about how poorly the defense played. Talk about the secondary giving up big plays. Talk about that stuff. Talk about the run game not being existent. You know, we've just paid Aaron Jones all this damn money, and uh, he don't show up. Talk about Matt LaFleur, how he couldn't coach these guys to be prepared to play on Sunday. Talk about that. Just don't, throw, just don't throw it all on one man's lap. There's 22 other guys out there on the field that contributed to the loss. Even the coaching staff. Talk about how poorly the coaching staff prepared this team. Don't just sit up there and talk about one man. Every time the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lose or when Tom Brady was on the Patriots, y'all want to point and blame the damn defense and Belichick. I ain't tell you, y'all don't talk about how bad he played. Just like they talked about the interceptions. Tom Brady threw two interceptions. Well, well, you know, well, the guy should have caught it. You know, the, 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 the running back should have caught that. Well, you can't really blame Tom Brady for that. Like, <laughs> really? Oh, that Hail Mary threw. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh whatever. Oh, it's whatever. When Aaron, when Aaron Rodgers do it. That's just a bad throw. Poor throw. He threw it out of frustration. It's the goofiness of it all, man. The fakeness of it all. The fakeness of it all, man. It's just... Oh, man. Sports is just starting to seem so fucking lame to me. We're, gonna, we're not just going to talk about football. We're going to talk about basketball, too. You know, everybody talking about with Russell Westbrook wearing the dress. Duh! <laughs> I mean, shit. This ain't the first time we've seen Russell Westbrook dress funny. Wear some weird shit. This ain't the first time we've seen that. This ain't nothing new. There's some other shit going on with Russell Westbrook, but I ain't gonna put the man business out there because this ain't that kind of channel. I let them other fools do that that really care about you know what I'm saying? Views and and, and and subscribers. Like I told y'all, I'm just I'm just leaving my little digital imprint in the cyber reverse or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is just I'm not finna get on here. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'm not finna do any of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like what I'm, I'm putting out, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not finna hold you hostage to my channel. When Russell Westbrook has been dressing like that. Go back and look in the past outfits that he's, he's worn before. It was all suspect. But now that he put on a skirt, everybody wants to. Everybody. Go back in the day. Back back in the day. In colonial days, they was wearing skirts too. You know what I'm saying? They was wearing high heel boots. Men. Men. Do your research. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't condone any of that. I'm not finna sit up there and say I, I'm with Russell Westbrook because I'm not. I don't condone any of that alternative stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't indulge in that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking him. You know what I'm saying? If that's him living his truth. Let him live his truth. Whatever the fuck that means. But I can see people I'm saying being alarmed and being outraged or seeing that kind of imagery on social media. You know what I'm saying? We we not we not desensitized to we, we so desensitized to racism, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when we see it on social media every day, we so desensitized to that. But when it comes to this type of shit, oh we sensitive. We sensitive because 
it's a black man wearing a skirt, a dress. There's white men that wear dresses too. But I get it. I get it. The shit hop community is such a big, big conglomerate, you know what I'm saying? That moves the culture that this has to be talked about. Plus, not leaving out the fact that the big name of the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the big franchise basketball team he's playing for, the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? That's going to that's going to turn up the volume a little bit too with him wearing a dress. But I can tell you this, that's all a part of uh, uh, that's all a part of the California agenda that's going on out here. I don't want to get too esoteric and, you know, with with y'all on that shit. But the fact still remains that if we don't give it any attention, it won't matter. If nobody gave a damn about Russell Westbrook wearing that dress, I'm pretty sure the media would have tried to force it upon us like they do all, all like they do all this other shit they do, forcing all this shit on us to make us give a fuck about it you know what I mean, so I don't care about Russell Westbrook wearing a dress I don't, I really don't at the end of the day, I'm just happy he has some fucking clothes on <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if he would have been you know, being in a magazine or on social media butt ass naked wearing a cardigan sweater then I would have been like hey this motherfucker taking this shit too far you know what I'm saying even though he did he is pushing the limits with the dress anyway but I don't give a damn I don't I don't that don't bother me the only thing that's gonna bother me is if we didn't move heaven and earth to get this motherfucker over here with the Lakers and we don't win no championship that's the only thing that's gonna bother me so you know, for, for what it's worth, you know what I'm saying, let's just enjoy the media attacking Aaron Rodgers until he gets out of Green Bay, and if so, if he does go to another team, then they'll probably be praising him, see, this is, then they'll probably be criticizing the Packers organization, see, this is the reason why he should have left a long time ago, he probably would have had multiple rings. He would have had multiple Super Bowls, probably even more MVPs. Uh, you know, they always want to have the the, uh, the conversation, uh, the opinionated conversations of what could have been and how it should have went. That's what they always do when it comes to sports, especially when it comes to players like Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? Like they criticize this man for having just only one Super Bowl, and that's based off of his talent. Now. Yeah, he's a very talented quarterback. Give you that. I mean, he's proven that time and time again. But what's the point of having a talented quarterback when you're not putting talent around a quarterback? That's when you got to look at the organization. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he's the face of the franchise. And anything that happens with the Green Bay Packers, you know, People are just going to be judgmental towards him. Like I, when I'm when I'm in when I'm in these different states, when I'm in these different states every week. You know what I'm saying? People and I have my Green Bay Packer on. Oh, so what do you think Aaron Rodgers is going to do, huh? Well, huh? Where do you think he's going to go? I think he's going to leave. Like, dude, get first of all, get the fuck up out of my face. First of all, back the fuck up. And why are you asking me? I don't know what the fuck the I don't know what the fuck the future holds for Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Keep your opinion to yourself. I'm not running up on motherfucking Ravens fans asking them when is Lamar Jackson gonna get over the hump and beat Patrick Mahomes and get to the damn Super Bowl. I'm not doing that to them. To that, to that fan base, so don't come running up to me talking about Aaron Rodgers, which tells me a lot. It, show, it tells me a lot when people do that because I know I'm not the only Packer fan that shit happens to. People coming up to you, running up to you because they see you in some Packer gear. <laughs> what y'all gonna, gonna do about Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> He's leaving, y'all. Like, bro. We don't know that until the man is out the, out the door. I'm not, finna, I'm not about to sit up here and argue with you over a fucking football player. Life is more important than that. 
There's other shit going on besides Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. But that's the way the media want to put it out there. They want to put this shit out there to have us distracted on fucking sports. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love I love football, but I'm not going to let it deter me from what's really going on. And I hope it's not. I hope y'all not letting that shit happen to y'all, too, to where, you know what I'm saying? You're not focused on what's going on around you. You're focused on fucking, fucking football in the, in, in, in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? And I see too many channels like that. I'm like, gosh, damn. Y'all talk about the same thing. More LeBron talk. More LeBron talk. We're going to keep talking about LeBron. LeBron didn't get the, the, I don't know if LeBron got the vaccine. You got Chris Hainsworth out here indicating our, I don't want to say indicating. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, yeah, he's indicating that LeBron James took the vaccine. Why are we worried about LeBron James taking the fucking vaccine? Why y'all not asking any other any other athletes if they taking a vaccine? Why y'all not asking Kyrie Irving if he took the vaccine? But y'all wanna y'all wanna fucking slander Kyrie Irving about his tweets about being mask on, mask off. Y'all wanna y'all wanna do that shit. Y'all not asking uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo if he took the fucking vaccine. Y'all not asking Joel Embiid if he took the vaccine. The NBA said we're not going to force the NBA players to take the vaccine. What the hell is going on out here, man? Jesus Christ. All this homelessness going on in California, man. This shit is outrageous. Y'all let this motherfucker back in office. He got nine more months, though. He got nine months. Governor Gavin Newsom. That piece of shit. Lying to the people, not cleaning up none of this bullshit, forcing these mandates. Fuck them mandates. But anyway, man, this video went on long enough. Man, let's like I said, man. <laughs> watch what you're looking at, and look at what you're watching. There's a lot of bullshit going on. I'm out.